Okay, we're going to start to try and create this alloy wheel. So we're going to walk through it step by step. Again, there's multiple ways that you can create it. This is just an example. So we're going to start by extruding a cylinder and then cut away from that cylinder to create the wheel. You could, of course, do it from a revolve, which we might try in a different tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to select the front work plane. I'm going to select sketch and I want to look at it flat to make sure I know what shape I'm creating. Okay, I'm going to select a circle and draw that out. Okay, I want to add a dimension because I want to work quite accurately drawing this. So when I click to add my dimension using the dimension tool from the top, you can see it gives you the number. I'm going to create mine to be a 17 inch wheel. Okay, it goes quite big, so you just need to zoom out. Scroll in with the center of your mouse. And you can see that symbol before the 17 means diameter. So that's a distance from the edge to the edge. Now right clicking, I'm going to rotate it so that I can see it again in 3D. I've finished that sketch and I'm going to extrude this. Okay. Once I get to this point now, I want to click on a circle. You could also click on a sketch in the top in the um, left history pane. But I'm just going to click on a circle and I want that to be around about seven inches. We're working in inches because that's just a normal thing for alloy wheels. And you'll see that soon we're going to stop using dimensions anyway. So that's just to get the proportions right to start with. I've finished that and that is the start of my wheel. So I've just extruded quite a simple cylinder that is 17 by 7. Okay. I'm going to flip this around so I'm looking at it from the back and I want to create a hole going in. So I'm going to click on the back surface and I'm going to sketch again. You can use the hole feature for this of course. I quite like doing it this way. I find you have a little bit more control. I'm going to draw a circle again that is a bit smaller. This one is only going to be, when I dimension it, it's going to be 15 inches and we're going to tick. Okay, making sure when I drew the circle, I did it from that central axis point, okay, the origin. I'm then going to extrude the circle. So I click that one. I'm going to make sure I've selected remove. And then looking at it from 3D, I can see what it looks like. And it's just going to go five inches into the wheel. Okay, so we've got the back of the alloy wheel started. And then I'm also going to go for the front where I click on the front, sketch, we should be getting quite familiar with this now, looking at it from the front, the dimension, the same as the back again, just 15, 3D view, finish the sketch, extrude, and I'm going to select the circle, flip it and remove it, and I just want that to go one inch in. So that leaves me with about an inch of material in that centre. That's the start of my design. Okay, any alloy wheel, as you can see from the pictures, if you Google alloy wheels, they have an inset rim around the edge. So that's the next thing that we're going to create. This is a little bit trickier and where we're going to start to use a revolve feature. Okay, so we're going to look at the wheel from the right hand side. I can't see the detail that we've done, so we're actually going to change the view. You can see the shaded cube. We're going to click on a shaded cube and we're going to go to hidden edges visible and you can then see the detail of what you've done so far. I'm going to create a new sketch on that right work plane and I'm going to do it as a rectangle at the top of the wheel here. And then we're going to start to dimension this. So from the middle, the centre there, to the bottom, if it would let me do it, there we go, we want that to not overlap with those lines that you can see, the grey lines. We want it to in, come inside the black lines, but not overlap those in grey. So we're going to make that about 8 inches. Okay. We're then going to measure the distance from each edge. So we're going to go there to there, measure that. And I'm going to set this as 0 0.5, and I'm also going to set this side here as 0 0.5. Okay, the overlap at the top 
that's absolutely fine. That doesn't, as long as it's overlapping, it doesn't matter how far, and you'll see why in a moment. The last part that we need to do to make this work is drawing a line from that central axis horizontally across. And that's going to create an axis for us to revolve our rectangle around and then just finish the sketch there. So just like that, you can see we've got the rectangle and we've got the axes that we've created. We're then going to revolve. We select the rectangle and the revolve axes here. We select the line. This is the point now where you'll want to turn on shaded view. We want to make sure it's removing, so it's a cutaway. And you can see that's the cutaway that we'll be creating. And we've re rotated that, or, or revolved, sorry, that shape all the way around the outside and we just click tick that at the moment is just one part we'll create a tire to go on this in a little while but that so far is looking quite good we need to customize the design on the front create the holes for mounting it to a car but other than that we're on the right tracks at the moment so that's the first stage of creating our alloy wheel